Wednesday morning to be good. Got the pro angler loaded in the truck. Fixing to head out to the water, catch as many fish as we possibly can before this storm just totally destroys us. Hopefully it won't, and if it does, well, we're gonna fight through it anyway. No big deal. Next time you see me, you'll be on the water. I'll tell you what, it's gonna be a heck of a day. My goodness, long time no see Medina Lake. It's gonna be one heck of a morning. My gosh, the conditions call for great fishing so long as the rain doesn't get any heavier than this light little, now I wouldn't even call this a drizzle, it's like it's a mist. You ever been in your backyard and the misters are just on? Maybe you don't have misters in your backyard and I'm just one weird son of a gun. Anyway, let's talk about what I'll be throwing today. First and foremost, the bluegill at Medina have been one, massive lately, and two, the bass have just been munching on them like crazy. Every pattern I've thrown lately has been a bluegill pattern, and that's produced the biggest fish. So I'm going to start with a super finesse dirty jig swim jig. Um, my gosh, with a little Rage Menace trailer. Just ultra light, super small, nice, beautiful little presentation. I've got that paired up with my Lose Tournament Light. Uh, that's in a 7-1-1 or 7-5-1. It's a little fast for a swim jig, but it's all right. And it's going to be on a Falcon HD medium action rod in the seven foot length. Absolutely beautiful setup. One of my favorites. If they're not going to hit the swim jig, we're going to try and hit them with a little square bill action. Uh, this is kind of a weird color. It's just what I had in the truck because this was a last minute trip. A uh, nice little square bill and a, I don't even know what pattern to call this. Red shad. Who knows? I've got that paired up with the loose speed spool LFS in 6-8-1 to one on my Falcon Buku SR. Uh, that thing got seven foot medium heavy. Beautiful little combo, really cheap too. Probably the best $200 combo there is, in my opinion. Uh, if the bite is super tough, we're gonna go with the bread and butter, and that's just gonna be a good old fashioned Texas rig. Holy crap, we are in Texas for God's sakes. South Texas, I might add. Got a little Texas rigged brush hog, got that paired up with my Loose Custom Speed Spool SLP in a 7 1 to 1 or a 7 5 to 1, I'm not sure, I don't remember. And that's on the Loose. Not to lose. That's on the Falcon HD 7 foot medium heavy. They'll eat that no matter what time of year it is, no matter where I'm at in the lake. It's clear water conditions. They'll eat anything that's a natural color in that little creature bait presentation. So if the bike gets super tough and they're not going to hit moving baits, that's what I'll move to next. And if it's just painful, like there is no sign of hope, like I am just totally screwed, we're going to switch up to a nice little shaky head. Uh, simply stated, it's a shaky head with a little zoom finesse worm on here in watermelon red. Got that paired up with a loo, uh, with a loose, I don't know, laser speed spool, whatever, some cheap spinning reel. I don't really like spinning tackle, but if I have to use it, I will. And that's going to be on a seven foot medium with 10 pound power pro to an eight pound fluorocarbon leader. So uh, I'm going to spend about five or six hours out here. If, it, if the fishing is just totally tough or the rain is just impeding my ability to film, then I'm just going to go home and maybe make a rod and reel arsenal video or see what the day has in store. Thanks for watching, guys. give you guys a little context it's been two hours I have not caught a fish or even come close to catching a fish my fish finder is dead it's pouring rain I'm wearing this poncho now because my rain jacket is just totally worthless um, there's not a single boat out here and it's starting to get a little cold uh, we had a crazy amount of humidity come through yesterday it got toasty got up to like the mid 70s at about four o'clock and I was like oh nice it'll be nice and uh moderately comfortable no it's like 50 and raining and I know that doesn't sound so bad but it sucks because I'm soaking wet 
my Sperry's, more like my water shoes because they are soaking wet and it's just not looking good. But I'm gonna go to the spot. Uh, this time about a month ago, I came out of here, didn't bring any cameras, just me and two rods and I was on my Amigo. No, I may have been on the Pro Angler. I don't know, but I stuck a four pounder. Which is like huge for this lake. This lake is notorious for having dinks all over it. You can come catch like 10 in an hour, but uh, I guess not for me. I guess I suck. So I'm gonna go back to the chesty. Now you know I'm gonna go back to this boom and then I'll go to the chesty when I get to the spot because now I'm crossing the main channel, as you can see. All right, later. Got one. Stuck him. Yes. Oh, he spit it. He was pequeña. <laughs> yes. It gives me so much hope, guys. You don't understand that at least I got bit. That was a really bad hook, hook set, too. Okay. I have a reason to be here today. He was small. I mean, my like, real small. Oh my god, I got one. What? Oh, I got him under the gill right here. The operculum for all you anatomy buffs out there. Oh, it's a freaking bee too? Hold on. Psst, psst. Come here, largey. Hey! I hate bees so much. The last thing I want is to get a treble hook stuck in my hand. Dude, nice. I didn't think I'd catch one on a square bill like at all. That was not, that was, this was my gag lure. I guess you really just never know what they're gonna eat. <laughs> oh my gosh. Can you believe that? Well, holy crap, looks like I keep chugging this square bill. It's a good sign. Dude, this bee's gonna piss me off. I hate bees with a passion. I can't believe it. Get in here. Oh. God dang it. This is the kind of fisherman I am.
<laughs> Little dink fish, dude. Second one in like 10 seconds. They're eating the square bill. I guess they're chasing small bait fish around. Later. Yeah. On the swim jig. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Dude, what am I? What am I? The world's the weakest human? Oh, gosh, that was so much harder than it should have been. I'm so unathletic. It's funny. Man, little dude just pumped that little dirty jig swim jig. Little Rage Menace trailer. So, the thing about Medina Lake, everybody, is that this is the quality of fish you're catching right here. And it's not quality. But you're going to catch five or six of these little one-pounders in a very, very short amount of time. I mean, like, very short. Okay, I've only been out here for two hours. And they fight, and they fun to catch. And it's great. 